what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 next level funniest oversells in wwe we just finished checking out the best oversells of the stone cold stunner that was my previous video so if you haven't checked that out go check it out it was it's hilarious man i i always love the way people would sell the stone cold stunner so we gotta check this out in the spirit of overselling right now we're in this overselling uh mood of videos uh we gotta check this out so appreciate all the love and support man Road to 80k and uh let's do the thing man find is the art of a wrestler making a move look like it hurt Throughout the years, there have been a number of memorable incidents Bro. of selling. As everybody knows about how The Rock used to yeah, sell the Stone Cold Stunner. Well, that time Shawn Michaels decided to oversell everything Hulk Hogan did at 2005 SummerSlam pay-per-view. So However, an there are right many there. more memorable incidents of selling that are often overlooked and truly oh, need that to be one right there, the salute So that being stunner. said, there are 10 more funny and memorable oversells awesome, in man. WWE. Love to see it. Love me Be sure water, to subscribe man. and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Rusev hilariously sells a punch. And the Mixed Match Challenge was a concept that WWE tried in 2018 to generate Definitely fan interest. The, the, the event exclusive to Facebook featured mixed tag team matches, with the winning tag team getting the number 30 spots in the respective Royal Rumble matches. And most of the matches on show were very comedic in nature and nothing was taken too seriously. Therefore, when Rusev and Lana teamed up to face Aunt Truth and Carmella, the comedy spots were really well executed. Without a doubt, the most memorable comedy spot of the match featured Rusev selling a punch from Aunt Truth by taking a number of bumps on the outside of the ring. And this oversell may not have been appropriate for a non comedy match, but with this being the mixed match challenge, That's the spot funny, and the sell went down extremely well with the fans. Number 9, Chuck Palumbo sells a DDT from The Undertaker. In the summer of 2003, The Undertaker is in the midst of a rather forgettable feud with the FBI on SmackDown. Damn, I remember Not the real the FBI, FBI, but the full-blooded Italians. I remember Although the feud them, acted as a feud before WWE revisited The Undertaker vs. Brock Lesnar rivalry, right it did provide fans with the most dramatic oversell of a DDT ever seen. <laughs> on the June 5, 2003 edition of SmackDown, The Undertaker was facing Chuck Palumbo. During the match, Taker hit a DDT on Palumbo, and Palumbo sold this by awkwardly standing up Bro, and then falling what? back down again. The oversell shouldn't have been as funny as it was, <laughs> and no doubt the Undertaker took issue to how Palumbo sold one of his trademark moves. Number 8, Buddy Murphy sells the spear. <laughs> funny, the Buddy bro. Murphy vs. Roman Reigns was place. one of the most talked about matches of 2019. The match acted as a come out party for no, Murphy as he showed the world what he was capable of in a fantastic cool little mini feud. It, it, it seemed like they were going to start pushing Buddy Murphy, man, because he was he was showing out with Roman. I ain't going to lie to you. Match with WWE's top guy. The finish of the match involved Reigns hitting a spear on Murphy for the victory. However, this wasn't an ordinary spear. Oh, yeah. Murphy gave one of the yeah. best oversells ever seen he for a spear. He sold that he spear like a million and bucks, literally boy. flip onto his stomach. It looked absolutely incredible, and it received an enormous reaction from the live that audience. That was a good sell. Number seven, Very Leo Rush sell. is selling against Braun Strowman. And when Braun Strowman got his hands on Leo Rush in a tag team match on Raw in 2019, fans expected Braun to manhandle Rush, and to be fair, they were right. Expected. However, nobody expected Rush to virtually oversell every single thing Braun did in the match, making him look like an absolute monster in the process. Rush would sell slams by making it look as if he was having an exorcism <laughs> performed on him, and he would even have spit coming out of his mouth after one move to sell oh, the yeah, impact and the ferocity of Braun's moveset. It looked truly incredible, and Rush made Braun look like a million bucks as in the ring. Should. Number look six, Booker difference. T sells the stunner at 2002 Royal Rumble. This was in uh, the last clip we just checked out. Booker T getting stunned right out of the Royal Rumble. Hilarious moment. A Booker T's appearance at the 2002 Royal Rumble featured not just one of the most memorable <laughs> eliminations of all time, but it also featured one of the greatest oversells of the Stone Cold Stunner ever seen. Booker would enter the match at number 30, and it would last a total of 30 seconds before being eliminated by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Gave him the boot. Booker was eliminated by literally <laughs> being Stone Cold Stunned out of the ring. This came about by Austin interjecting a Spinaroonie attempt from Booker, and it resulted in one of the biggest <laughs> crowds of the entire match. Number 5, Cedric Alexander sells the Claymore. A true McIntyre... Cedric Alexander, he is... He is legendary tier. When it comes to selling, 
He's one of those people, especially in the new generation of wrestlers, that you got to put up there. He's fantastic at selling, and he's very good at selling the Claymore kick. He 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 makes you believe the move is even more devastating than it already is. As Claymore has become one of the top finishing moves in the entire WWE. Without question, the most memorable sell of the move has been from Cedric mm -hmm. Alexander. During a number of their matches Please. together, wow. Cedric has sold the Claymore by <laughs> literally Dead. turning himself inside out and Dead. doing a flip to sell the move. <laughs> Speaking to Ryan Satin, McIntyre himself admitted that Cedric has the best sell of his yeah, finisher he's that he's good ever at it, bro. seen. He revealed Cedric Alexander, inside out. The first one we did had to be replayed a million times with the live fans. Back flip over and it looked spectacular. Mm -hmm. The last one we did, he was so low to the ground when he went around. For some reason, if I were in a bar and kicked someone in the face, he would have spun like that. Number four, Ricochet sells the RKO oh. by landing on his... If there's anybody that needs to be on this list, it's Ricochet. He is fantastic at selling. He, he, he does the... The dead stare better than anybody else, man. And shout out to Ricochet uh, becoming the Intercontinental Champion. That is awesome to see. Hopefully, they continue to push him in the right direction. That was it's, it's cool to see that, man. I'm happy for Ricochet. He deserves to get some type of recognition in WWE. Too talented not to. His head. A ricochet has attained a reputation for being one of the best pure sellers in the entire <laughs> WWE. So one of the biggest it. examples of this took place on Raw in October 2019. Yeah, he During knows a match how to do that. Drew McIntyre, Look at the Randy dead stare. Interfere and catch ricochet out of nowhere with a devastating RKO. But this was an any ordinary RKO, nah, which oh, ricochet yeah, sold him by landing on the <laughs> top of his head. Bro. It looked absolutely brutal, and it that actually looked like Ricochet was seriously crazy. hurt. <laughs> fans in attendance were absolutely shocked as to what they had just witnessed, and a number of fans compared <laughs> Ricochet's sell to how RVD previously <laughs> sold the RKO. Yep, that the... reminds me of RVD selling the RKO. Anybody that can really do that, like it looks like he just snapped your neck, that's impressive. Very impressive. This aggression error. Number three, Dolph Ziggler sells for oh, Goldberg. One of the top matches on the SummerSlam seller. 2019 fantastic. match card was Dolph Flopping Ziggler going up against place. Goldberg. The match would act as a retribution match for Goldberg as the last time he wrestled in the WWE. Uh, yeah. He wrestled Taker in one of the worst matches of all Awful time. Match. WWE picked Ziggler Never as they knew that, that the former match. world champion would make Goldberg look like highlights. the best he's looked Awful. in years. And Ziggler certainly did that. Yep. Although the match was a complete squash, so he didn't spear, stop Ziggler like he from offering got fans some of the best examples of lost selling his soul that has ever from been seen spear, in the, the WWE. Sold it. Ziggler would sell a number of Goldberg Ooh. spears by flying through the air, <laughs> making it look like he was look at broken that. in oh half. My God. Number two, Brock Lesnar throws Ric Flair over <laughs> the referee. And Brock Lesnar had one of the most successful rookie years in WWE history. Debuting after WrestleMania Jesus. 18, they were adamant to make Lesnar the next top guy in the WWE, and he would run through virtually the entire roster before becoming WWE Champion at SummerSlam in 2002. One of Lesnar's lesser-known matches during this time was a great match with Ric Flair on Raw in the summer of 2002. In the match, Flair made Lesnar look like an absolute beast by selling everything he did with Sounds fear and trepidation. Right. Flair was always known as a fantastic seller, mm -hmm. especially during his time as a heel. It was great to see that he could sell just as well as a babyface. During the match, there was a notable spot where Flair oversold a kick out from Lesnar. Jesus. Flair went for a trademark knee drop and it only secured a two-count as Lesnar pushed Flair off. And Flair Get off me! in the air and actually went flying over the referee. This was an amazing sell from Flair as it really showed the WWE fans just how strong Lesnar was. And number mm -hmm. one, Randy Orton sells the Stone Cold Stunner at the Survivor Series in <laughs> This was also in my previous video. Definitely, if you want to check out some funny Stone Cold Stunner sales, go check out my previous video, man. 2003. The Survivor Series 2003 featured one of the best traditional Survivor Series matches of all time. Team Bischoff would take on Team Stone Cold mm -hmm. with the added stipulation that if Team Bischoff won... Back when the Survivor Series meant something. Now, I, I still, I'm still disappointed they didn't go with the King Xavier Woods route. Which, whichever team won, uh, they would have the option to, you know, pick to... Whichever team won had, would have the option... The last, they would be uh, the last five competitors in the Royal Rumble. They would have the last five spots. They would just have to probably fight over it or whatever, or they'll find a way to pick it. But they would guarantee be the last five spots in the Royal Rumble, and whoever 
um, lost the Royal, um, the Survivor Series match, the men's five on five match, they would pretty much get the first five spots of the Royal Rumble. I think that would have added some type of, you know, some type of like competition because it doesn't really matter who wins. Yeah, oh, our brand is supreme. We're superior. Does it really matter? No, but you add that to it, it makes sense. You know, just like this one. Classic Survivor Series match, Stone Cold versus Bischoff. Whoever wins, I believe the stipulation, if I remember correctly, uh, if Stone Cold loses, he loses his uh, power. Uh, I think he was like co-general manager or something like that. But he loses his power if his team loses. Like something like that, that, that... Add stakes to the Survivor Series match, and they just really dropped the ball on that. They didn't really capitalize on that idea. It was just brand supremacy. Like, anyone gives a damn about that shit. I'm just be honest with you. Stone Cold would have to step down as co-GM of Raw. There we the go. The match yeah, was I, in I the 30-minute classic, and it featured some of the most legendary superstars of all time, including the likes of Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Christian, RVD, Shawn Michaels, and the Dudley Boys. The match is also responsible for one of the most underrated oversells of the stunner ever seen in WWE. It came towards the closing moments of the match as Stone Cold would interfere and would hit Orton with a stunner. Orton sold this by flipping backwards and threw himself back so much that his legs were actually hanging out of the ropes. The crowd went insane for the sell. That the shit folks, is funny, bro. He legitimately sold that shit, bro. Like, he just was a fish out of water, man. Um, but this was cool, man. This was definitely dope. It, it's just always cool to see people selling in crazy ways, but it, it, it sometimes enhances the match, enhances the moves or whatnot. I was hoping to see like maybe the rock on here because I'm, I'm when it comes to selling, you got to add the rock on here. You got to have him being stone cold stunned by stone cold himself, man. It, it only makes sense to have him in this compilation but they didn't really put him in here uh but comment down below let me know who is your favorite wrestler to sell like any type of move it doesn't matter what era wrestler uh, um, what era of wrestling it doesn't matter which company i want to know who's your favorite wrestler that sells fantastic to you one of my favorites for me uh growing up obviously was the rock um but if i can think of recent years I would have to give it up to Ricochet, bro. Ricochet, maybe Dolph Ziggler, they are fan. Oh, they will make you look like a billion bucks. Not a million bucks. They'll make you look like a billion bucks in that ring. They will make your moves look devastating. Also, you got to put HBK in there. HBK is very good at selling as well, man. And you know what? Despite popular opinion... Brock Lesnar is actually good at selling. When he wants to be involved in a certain match, he'll he'll actually do a good job on selling. I ain't gonna lie to you. He's pretty pretty good at selling. He's one of those type of people. He'll bust himself open legitimately. <laughs> you know, he'll cut himself open to sell a feud or a segment. So he's one of those type of guys. If he's invested, you'll definitely know he he's very good at selling. Surprisingly, so but. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.